Hello, this is Noseman from the Maxon training team. And in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you a way of making flexible hoses or cables using spring constraints. In this simple scene, I have this uh, robot arm. And I also have a spline drawn, which I'm using with a spline wrap to deform a cylinder. I want to make sure that this is a, like a flexible hose or a wire that connects the bicep to the forearm. So let's begin. I'm going to select the cable and go to the character, convert and uh, do a spline to joints. And this is going to create a hierarchy of joints, which if I select all these and press command, shift and add a null, I'm going to get four nulls in the same positions. Now I can remove these joints. I can uh, name these so that they are in the same order. And now let's go and rig this up as uh, necessary. Select the second one, not the first or the last, the second one. Right click, go to rigging and add a constraint uh, of uh, type spring. Add a second target, increase the stiffness to 100% and the gravity to 3 100 and leave the drag as it is. You can change it later on. Now, before you do anything else, copy this tag to all the other nulls in between uh, the first and the last. Uh, don't do anything to the first and the last. And uh, what we're going to do now is select the first one and uh, link it to the first and the third. Then select uh, the other one and link it to the one previous to it. So number two and then number four. And uh, what I'm going to do is press play and you will see that everything is in place. Let's make this spline invisible and uh, turn it off. And let's turn this off as well. Now select all these and change uh, them to spheres so you can see them. And with these uh, selected, uh, go to MoGraph and add a tracer and set it to connect all objects. Set the spline type uh, to anything you want, a cubic maybe with a uniform subdivision. And tell the spline wrap now to use uh, the tracer instead of the spline. And we don't need the spline anymore. It was just a reference. Now, the last thing I need to do is take uh, number one and uh, put it under the elbow. And uh, let's take number four and put it under the shoulder. And from this point onwards, if I extend my timeline and press play, you will see that moving this tip goal, I get a nice flexible cable. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.